is seated in the confessions booth and I'm ready to listen to her confession, her story. My lady, you're welcome to confessions. Thank you very much. This is a place you cannot lie to yourself. This is a place where you bear it all. My shoulder is here if you need one to cry on. I am listening. Your story, your confession. Thank you very much for having me. So my confession is quite a brief but complicated one. Um, I'm a 24 year old lady mm. that lives with my older brother. Okay. Um, I've, my older brother is good looking and hard working, I must say. Um, he's someone that has been there for me through the Gentin mm. and someone I look up to. God bless him. Um, but the issue is I happen to have this addiction. Mm. I masturbate. Mm. And whenever I masturbate, is a picture of my brother I have in mind. Mm. Now, the thing is, in the world of fantasy, I tend to fantasize a lot with him doing all the sensual stuff. But it hasn't made manifest in the physical just yet. Mm, it God. has gone to the extent that whenever I have sexual intercourse with my boyfriend, I need to think about my brother before I can get an orgasm. And I feel so bad within for my boyfriend because I think he's trying his best. And the thing is, I don't even understand myself because when it comes to reality, it's not like I'm attracted to my brother. He's just someone I really respect. Mm. I look up to, mm. I like he's my go-to for everything. But mm. then sexual relations in the reality is a no-go area for me. Mm. So I don't understand myself why I can fantasize so much in the world of fantasy mm. and even to the extent that I have to think about my brother when I'm having sex with my boyfriend. Mm. I'm really scared that in as much as I've been able to like survive all these years like handling it in secrecy just maybe it will get to a point where I can no longer control myself and then I might want my brother in the physical and I mm. know it's wrong mm. and I don't know how to control it so I really need help because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Girl, you really need help and I hope we would be able to help you. In reality, she's never had any intimacy with her blood brother, but in her fantasies, it's all about him to an extent that if she needs to be with her own boyfriend, she'd have to think about her brother to get the big O. Fantasies and realities, should we be concerned or it's just a little sickness in her head or we should take it seriously because it may manifest. Thus is her confession, it is her story. We go into the studio, my audience are ready, my resource persons are ready and I hope and pray that we bring some sanity to this young woman because she really does need help. We imagine a whole lot of things, but most of the time we are unable to bring it to reality. In this conversation, do we say that it's just an imagination and we have no reason to be worried that a young lady fantasizes about her blood brother whenever she needs to give herself such pleasures in the bedroom? And so it's either her brother or no one else. Even when she has a personal boyfriend, she still needs the image of her brother to feel satisfied. Is it just her mind playing games or we should be worried? Well, I think we should be very concerned about um, this young lady. Um, masturbation is a topic that uh, we may not be able to exhaust on the show. Hmm. But um, I think... I'm convinced she needs help. Um, in terms of understanding why she would choose her brother over every other human, um, that's why she actually needs more help. Let's understand that fantasies are acceptable, but there are boundaries to which we should allow certain fantasies. 
there's nothing right about thinking sexually about your blood. Mm. There's absolutely no right thing about having sexual desires for your blood, even whether it's masturbation or actual penetration. There's nothing right about it. Okay. It should be frowned out on all fronts and all cultures, all religions, all morals. There's nothing right about it. However, this is not a condemnation on this lady. This is just to realize, make her realize that, hey, you, you, are, you are stepping <laughs> you're overstepping your bounds. This is not what you should be thinking about as a human in any form. I mean, we hear about people fantasizing about their mothers, their dads. I mean, as a counselor, I hear these things very, very often. And I target it at letting them know that it's a wrong orientation. Your mind is yours, but you don't have the right to allow it fly around. You have got the discipline to culture your mind in a setting um, 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 uh, confined that it doesn't cross certain boundaries. boundaries. This is so wrong on all fronts. While I love the lady, I, I detest her thoughts, and we are here to help her. In my perspective, her, her, her mind can still be worked on. It's not over yet, but there's a fundamental problem wrong. She is just thinking it. She hasn't done anything from what she says. There's not been any physical intimacy, not even a hug, not even a kiss from her brother. Uh, it, it, she's safe, isn't she? Miss Nancy, uh, the thoughts are the foundation of everything in life. It starts from the mind, then it goes to the Kelly, words. it was about last year when I thought that I'd bought this mansion at Trasaku. That, that, it still has no right materialized. What do you mean? can fly on that. But this is an abomination to humanity. So the mind would only manifest the negatives we think, Control, but the positives the, don't fact, happen? In fact, the mind can suggest such things to, to her, but it is her responsibility to, re, uh, to, to, to limit what she does with that thoughts. Mm. Thoughts come, but we are 100% responsible for what we do with the thoughts. There's nothing right about sexuality with your, with, with your, with your brother. I mean, Even I'm getting, when it's a fantasy. What is wrong is wrong. Yes, gentlemen. Back to the masturbation. Let me start from the masturbation problem because mm -hmm. it's a problem that most youth are facing. Yeah. They understand. But it's wrong. Fantasizing about your blood is wrong. We, we can say maybe it might be a face. Maybe she is going through a face right now. Maybe teenage. But you should try to um, take a, make, have a say in what you think about. Mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know the relationship she had with her brother growing up. Maybe they have this unseparable relationship. Apparently, the yes. brother is her benefactor, is taking care of her all her life. And like he, he technically is her hero. Yes, you being my hero doesn't mean that I should go in asleep and picturing you naked in my head. You're my blood. So some things, we shouldn't give room for, for it to improve. You see it, we pluck it off. It's not that we open a door. You see, as a human being, human beings, we, we are born to be creative. Mm. You open one door, then you see windows start opening. Mm. Do you understand? So I'm, I'm glad that she could own up and come here for us to help her out. I'm really, uh, let's, let's just clap for her about that. I'm, I really love that. And thus is Confessions on TV3. Here, you are able to tell us the things you can't ever tell anyone else. And yet... We keep it a secret. We only make a conversation out of it so that other people can learn. This young lady is battling with her reality and her fantasies. Mine resource persons are very ready and they join me in the studio to make the conversation even more educative and fun. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Pastor Abraham Little. Please sit, relax, mm. sit like royalty because this is what Echo Plus does for <laughs> nice. us. Make sure. You. Don't you like our music? It's so nice, it's cool. Mm. I like it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm feeling it too. Like in yes. paradise. So, um... There is also another man that wants to join you and make the conversation tight. He is Councillor Edumata. Let us celebrate Councillor Edumata. Let him join us right here. Beautiful. More, 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 more. Sit like royalty. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Relax, relax, relax. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Great. Beautiful. Right. This is it. <clears throat> you are welcome. Thank you, Miss Ness. This young lady, how far can we take our adoration of a person that has been kind, super kind to us, a man that has been a hero? We all know that there are women in the system that has had men give them financial support for education and for other things, and before they know, they want to give their bodies to them. How far can you go with saying thank you and showing appreciation, even physically and mentally? Thank you, Miss Nancy. The situation at hand, let's go back a bit. There are two parameters, or several parameters, but let's concentrate on two. One, the story tells us that the brother is a key and cardinal figure in her life. Yes. And all her life is oriented around, around the brother. Around him. So it's possible, probably, the parents are dead or mm. she didn't have any support from parents and the brother played the role of a mother, role of a father. So she has what we would have defined her scope mm. about what is masculinity, what mm. is sexuality, what mm. is the outside world. Mm. So her scope is defined by her brother. Mm. If her scope is defined by her brother, then every human being have three out, uh, outlooks. So we have what we call the public life, like as we are seated here, we want to appear in a certain, so we dress, we mm -hmm. make up. Mm -hmm. Then we have the personal dimension where mm -hmm. people who are close to us only know these personal stuff, like us. wives, like parents and the like. Yeah. Then we have secret dimension. That secret aspect is that aspect that you put a code on your phone. You don't want mm -hmm. people to know that part. Mm. When somebody have an imprint on your personality, mm. the person affects your private mm. and affects your secret. Mm. And that is what is happening to this young Deep. lady. Her pri uh, private life, her secret life is affected by the imagery of the brother. Mm. And she transports it into her fanta fantasy and fantasizes in her mind. Mm. We condemn outright the idea of masturbation. We mm. condemn all of that. From my Christian perspective, we condemn it. But looking at the lessons we can draw from for our audience, those who are watching us, first of all, let's be mindful. Some of these traits develop as children. So you have a son and a daughter mm. or sleeping in the same room. Mm. The first image your daughter sees is the brother. Mm -hmm the elder brother. Mm -hmm. So psychologist tells us that when parents at a certain age, we should separate our children. Mm. As a mother, you should avoid your children seeing you naked. Mm. Because it also forms a certain imprint on their secret part and it affects their sexuality in the long run. Mm. To make it brief, we're saying that, yes, people can help us, mm. but we have several ways of paying back, not mm -hmm. necessarily with our body. Mm. So somebody helps you. And for example, there's a, personally, there are people who have been a blessing to me, and I try to live my life to certain principles mm. that when they hear about me, they'll be happy mm. that the investments they made in me, mm. I don't have to be it women or men, I don't have to give my body or anything, but the principle they instilled in you, mm. following it. So if your brother is an image who have affected your private and your secret life, live your life to a certain standard that your brother will be proud of you. Mm. Eliminate him from the sexual dimension. Yeah. Yes, he could be that image. And in the story, we, see, we, we were told that even when she's making love with a with boyfriend, boyfriend, this imagery of the brother comes in mind. The question from the basis is that you are not married, you are having, uh, that one is another day for another story. Yeah, I mean, uh, don't, yeah. don't get into your you, pastoral I'm not elements. There. I'm not yes. getting there. Yes, I, yes. I'm staying here with Miss Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for now. <laughs> That's a good one, Pastor Little. Thank you. That's a solid one. Counselor Dumata. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> she is 24 years yeah. living with her brother. Don't you think that it is time for our society mm -hmm. to become more responsible? Now we're talking about addiction to masturbation and we're talking about fantasies, unhealthy fantasies. Shouldn't a 24-year-old woman be already married? Why are we putting such limitations on ourselves and frustrating ourselves?
because looks like she is a full-blown woman that needs everything. And because she's living with her brother and other things are in her way, like um, education and other things, she is suppressing that edge. And mentally, she's being affected. Perfectly right. Great. Miss Nancy, um, to begin with, I want us to really understand this premises. And the first premises here is that Anybody who wants to wave off fantasies, you must first of all define yourself. Mm. Who are you? Mm. What is it that you want? Can you have a visionary of your future? Do you know the choices you are supposed to be make? Mm. Now, this lady, we empathize with the lady. But you see, 24, you must be able to hold tight to your choices. Mm. What is it that you're looking for? Are you ready to submit to things that you think you can hold on to? Mm. Then the second aspect is that if you really want to go beyond your fantasies, then you should be able to do what I call re-examination of yourself. The first aspect is that do a serious re-examination of your environment. Daddy, mommy were not there. It was your, you and your brother. But is that what you want to live your life with? No. Redo that examination and see that, no, now I'm on my own, I can make choices, I'm building my future, so I need to... She's living with her brother at 24, when she's supposed to, you know, uh, uh, that is why I want us to look sure. at how the society has contributed to all of these things. Young women, young men mm. are masturbating all over the place because their bodies are already healthy. Yes. 16 years, 17 years, they are full blown. Yeah. Why? Our mothers, my mother had me when she was 20 years old. God rest her soul. 20 years old, 19, she had my big sister. What is stopping that lifestyle now? Why is there so much immorality in the system? I do, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not getting it right. But, but, but the whole thing is that we should be able to know that we are all growing. And that if I am 24, and I can make choices of my own, then why must the society stop me from what I want to do? Mm. I should be able to come out. So again, it, ca it comes from As us. a father, if your 19-year-old yeah. daughter comes to you and says that, Papa, I've fallen in love, I need help, I want to marry and have children, what would you say? I will ask questions. Yeah. You're falling in love, fine. You want to marry. How ready are you? Who is this guy? You give them support. Sure, that's what I'm saying. Because if the person doesn't get married, they yes. will go fantasize. Yes. They will go so masturbate. So, so they will be to... all over the place sleeping with every Tom, Dick and Harry. Yes, Miss Nancy. So you build a foundation and then make sure that the lady is ready or not. Because if you push the person into it, the consequences will still come. Mm. So you need to be able to build a certain foundation and say, okay, if you say you are ready and is this man you're going, I'll give you this. All right. That is what a father should do. Good. That's what a mother should do. Good. But don't, don't just put that fear in them. Hey, man, pio, man, kwa wario. That is another dangerous aspect. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Now to you, uh, Alafia. Miss mm -hmm. Nancy. You're looking good, man. Thank you. <laughs> I like this. Uh, Miss Nancy, mm -hmm. there are things we are not looking at mm -hmm. as a family, mm -hmm. okay? There's this fear that we put in our children. And that fear has reflected over the years. Mm. It happened to us, it has happened to our mothers, mm. our great-grandmothers, and other people. So it's a generational thing. I keep saying I'm championing the cause of reorientating our mindset. Mm. Because if we don't change certain things about our lives, we will continue to repeat the same mistakes we keep on doing. This young lady has been masturbating, okay? Why did, he, why did she start all this? Because maybe within her neighborhood, she has friends, mm -hmm. and they do the same. Mm -hmm. Colleagues, mm -hmm. schoolmates. She's been seeing other people doing it, mm -hmm. but people don't know someone has been watching mm -hmm. or has been seeing them. Mm -hmm. Like you walk to the marketplace, and you see two ladies so tight and things, and the way you see things, you no. Know, if you are smart, you can imagine these people are less babies. You understand? Oh, Miss Nancy, it's true. I know you are looking at me with a certain eye. Now, with this, this young lady, what I want to say to her is that, first of all, 
like counselor said, she should identify herself. And that fear that is in her, that she cannot leave home and start something and be on her on herself is also another thing. Because, you see, in Ghana, our parental societal lifestyle, they will tell you that on worry, I won't mean to If we should stop that thing. Mm. We should caution and then also Christianity. Uh. Christianity. <laughs> this religious thing mm -hmm. is killing us. As of what Bekachia will say, uh, excuse me to say, they will tell you that. Oh, you are not matured to get married. You are not this. Like Councilor is saying, me. Let us go through the I, Bible. I, I, Ms. At Nancy, what age I, I, did Isaac marry? Ms. Nancy, I, I want to respond to this point. You see, uh, sure. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother. It didn't say a boy. A boy. Yeah. And he didn't put age on it. Good. No. I agree with you that you can marry young, no problem. Yes. But the person marrying should be, be a man. A man. Should be a, a woman, somebody who can think for uh, him it's, or herself. It's a, somebody so, who is responsible. You don't marry and come and eat from your mother's No, 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 but Kansla, at what point do you determine who is a man and who is a woman? Oh, that is one okay. thing that Christianity is not teaching no, us. And I'm, because myself, no, I want to use myself as a yastic. <laughs> myself, I was 18 years when I impregnated a woman. That and I'm still being, a man. No, no, no. And because, you are still with and a I took, woman. I took the responsibility. Me. I realized I've gone into manhood. Yes. So I started working hard. That drove me out of my, 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 my exactly. cupboard and came out and I started working hard. Mm. And have, I'm still with the woman and we have four lovely kids. And my you impregnated her when you were 18 years. Yes. Even and though you were a boy, you've grown into a man. Yeah, quickly, I have to reorientate my mindset. <laughs> so sometimes, no money and country and grow for say. And yet, say, also be 30 years. 40 oh. years, 20 years. Oh. Oh. At, oh. Yes, it's not about age, it's about your mindset. mindset. I agree. How, how work but you can impregnating become. somebody Thank doesn't you. make you a man. No, no, no. 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 It doesn't, and also the problem, no, because the church or the, 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 the fellowships that we are in, they will tell you that. But this what is a you typical, band, you know? uh, Alafia, I'd want to speak on your behalf. This is a typical situation of a, a quote-unquote, an immature man, that saw a challenge and immediately grew into the responsibility of the challenge. And if he had not been given that opportunity, we wouldn't have known that he could be a responsible man. So we need to know these things. My lady, the first lady on this conversation. Miss Nancy, yes, I see that our culture don't train our mind mm -hmm. to be able to be matured at the mm -hmm. age of 16, 17, 18. 18. Because when you look at the Western world, mm -hmm. At the age of 16, you are supposed to leave home. Mm -hmm. And some parents are happy to start their children home mm. um, because they feel like they are grown enough to be on their own, to pay for the, their rent, mm. to feed themselves. But in, in our culture here, they don't train us that way. So they what feel What would like you prefer? Would you have wanted to leave home early and start a life by yourself? Left to you it, alone, now what time would you want to have Miss Nancy, it's two, it's two ways. Mm -hmm. Looking at Western world, they have, they have everything System when it comes to, yes, support, support that kind yes. of uh, but here, independence. Even 24, you are still in school and you are not working. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to feed yourself if you should leave home? You understand? So it's all about culture and um, about how our, um, we are trained. Our yes, currently. yes. So our system needs an overhaul. Miss Nancy, uh, Ms. Nancy. Yes, I have an, um, before I come to you, Kelly, Pastor. I have an exception to this. You see, we are living in a semi-urban or an urban context. If I'm in my village, I follow mm -hmm. my father. I have a mm -hmm. farm. I, am, I have built a place. Nobody will prevent me in my village 18 years from marrying and living mm -hmm. with a woman. But mm -hmm. you are in Accra. Mm -hmm. You are living with your mother. She is feeding your father is feeding you, and you are telling me you are good. If you will marry, and you can take care this a man, you can take care of yourself. You can take care of the child you are bringing into this world. You can be responsible. Fine. You don't go and experiment mm. and say you will grow into a man. Mm. You are putting well. that child coming into trouble. Well, uh, our parents did it, and uh, here we are. You see, Miss Nancy, let me add this quickly to it. You see, how resourceful are you? should be the basis for you to, as it will, leave. Mm. 
You can't live when you don't have where you're working and how your, your income is coming. Going to keep so just like, just like uh, 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 Pastor Little is saying, in that village, you have a farm, farming on your own. We know you are planting. And to be Pierre Copet or Baby Crown or Bandum, so. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, 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 Pastor Kelly. Uh, Miss Nancy, um, you don't have sex mm -hmm. and then you get responsible mm. for the sexual act. Mm. You don't impregnate a lady and mm -hmm. then rise to the responsibility. Yeah. It is irresponsibility to have sex at a wrong time in the first place. Mm -hmm. But let me make something clear that we don't understand. See, what makes you ready is not what you have. It's who you are. Right. Mm. If you're not responsible here and you have assets, you are irresponsible. Mm. There are people who have inherited wealth from their parents. They've ruined before you know it. Before you say, Jack, it's all gone. Mm. That is gross irresponsibility. Mm. Such people shouldn't have sex yet. Mm. Such people should keep their pants up. Mm. Such people should go, grow, grow through grooming mm. as men. Mm. You don't have sex because you have a house or you have a good job. You have sex because you're responsible and well calculated and equipped for what the responsibility of sex comes with before having sex. Thank you. We need to be more responsible. Let me take this break. When we come back, we get back to the story of a young woman fantasizing about her own brother. You are welcome back. This is Confessions on TV3. My name is Miss Nancy, and I have with me Pastor Abraham Leto and um, <laughs> Counselor Edumata, yes, being supported by Kelly. Yeah. And I love you all. You all doing amazing right here. This young woman says that when she goes to bed, she needs to excite herself sexually. She needs a picture of her brother. She consistently uses the picture of her brother to get herself excited. And we, we, we trip down to how our society has given us so much limitations that at 24, she cannot move on with her life. She is still uh, living with her brother and so fantasizing about her brother. You have a question? Let's go to it. Yeah, Miss Nancy, thank you. Uh, we are all putting the blame on the girl. I would like to ask her a question. Uh, what made her that close to the brother? That if she doesn't see the brother's picture or something like that, she cannot, she doesn't feel comfortable. I want, to, I want, to, I want you to ask her. Because I'm closer to my sister. Mm. I'm a twin. I have a twin sister. We are close. Oh. Oh. We bath together. It got to a time we have to, we, we, my mother has to stop us from Bathing together, together, sleeping together, as in even SHS, we wanted to go together. Mm -hmm. So I know how it is if you are with your sister or your brother. And you care but about there them. is something that happened that made the girl that close to Move the brother. From seeing him only as a big as brother, a, as a big brother, to fantasize. So please, can we ask her? My if, lady. Yes, Miss Nancy. Yes. Was there what caused it? Do you remember the first time you started? seeing your brother or thinking of him in that way and was there any special event before i was in a relationship mm -hmm. and things didn't go well mm -hmm. so it was actually my brother that was there for me during the breakup period and i felt like the way he treated me he came off as like whatever i needed in a guy mm -hmm. so it was during that period i began to fantasize because initially I was okay with being in a relationship with other gentlemen and all that but the moment that relationship I was in went down the drain and it gave me like a different perspective to see my brother and that's when the whole issue began well there you are I see so miss Nancy this is where I'll ask this question because you had had a bad omen mm -hmm. 
your brother was closer, so you are using it as a bait. Now you want to come out. Uh, Alpha, okay. don't we hear of these stories meba, where meba, meba. A, a man is having a marital challenges, uh -huh. his friend comes in, uh, gives support to the uh, wife, and before you know, the wife and the friend are in love. Exactly. But you see, it's a quick fix. Yes. You are meba. just, mm. exactly, you are, you are just trying to cushion up mm. something that you cannot hold on to. But did you sort of think about the, 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 the futuristic Ever. aspect of it? Yes. Now you want to stop, you want to come out. Who are you now? Yeah. Thank you. That should be the first question. Who are you? Who are here, you now? Before I come to Pastor Lido. Yeah, Miss Nancy, I want us to be real here. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes eh, my counselors, they want to massage things. Mm -hmm. This is practical. Mm -hmm. It is practical. It is happening everywhere. It is real. The girlfriend lost the boyfriend through maybe beating, hardship, money is mm -hmm. not coming. Uh, cheating and other things. Now, the real brother who has been with her all throughout these years, mm -hmm. let's say maybe 20, 22 years, mm -hmm. this one year of trying to leave the brother and date someone, she had issues. And then she comes back to the brother. The brother gives her assurance, mm -hmm. comfort, mm -hmm. security, and also luxury, everything. She's so comfortable. So now the third party that is coming in as a new boyfriend, mm -hmm. if, you're not, if you're not hardworking, Eh? When and I say hard working, in terms of or even do psychologically trying to find out, have you ever been in a relationship before? What, what transpired? What went on? How, mm. how was it? And how, what is the relationship? I see you and your brother. You see, sometimes you need to open your eyes. Mm. People get into a relationship, they are not sure of what they are into. Yeah. I want my counselors to sometimes eh, come out of the books and go to the streets and find out. You see, when you are a practical street. being, Eh? When you are a practical that person, that's why we have you, this kind of yes, balance. Because People are coming from the church, others yeah, from traditional home settings, yeah. others from the streets, and we put it all together, yes. and it makes the content because, wonderful. Because my, my counselor is Alafia. trying to thank help my Alafia. lady. <laughs> hey, yes, that's you. you. Miss Nancy, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Let me just come in here. First of all, guys, what is maturity? Is like that, that is the problem right now. Mm. Let's let's try and define maturity. Mm. Okay, tell me that you're matured, and you can't separate your brother, brotherly love from your spouse love mm -hmm. or your boyfriend love. Erotic Come on. Love. Yeah. You have to be mature. Maturity is not age. You can be 50, you can be 25. And still have but, a And child. still have a, a mindset of an aunt. Yeah. Like small. And you can't think enough. Yeah. How can you tell me that you're a full-grown woman and you're, you, had, you were in a relationship, go your heart broken. You, your brother comforted you like a brother. Because he's the only one there, like, it, like she, her story. Mm -hmm. Nobody was there. It was her brother. Mm -hmm. I've had my heart broken, and my sister comforted me. Mm -hmm. Will I think that, use that because of I got a sisterly love? I'm not going to fantasize with my sister. Oh, oh come on. That Thank means you. you are not matured enough. Now and we understand that maturity needs to come in and all of that. But the situation is that the young lady truly needs help. Let us go out there and listen to what the streets have to say. And uh, maybe they would be able to help before we come back into the studios. In my view, I think this lady needs to seek for counseling because I don't even understand why if she has to have some intercourse with someone, she has to imagine her brother. This lady has to see a pastor or she has to seek prayers because she can't be with a man who, when it ends up in a case that she's sleeping with him, she has to think about her brother. This is very bad. She, she really needs prayers. And also she can see his brother, the girl's brother, for him to give him guidelines of how and what he, he does to his sister to make the uh, sister uh, happy. That is what the streets had to say. But those of us in the studio, let us see how we are able to help this young woman. Pastor Little, yeah, she you. is in it. In it. Already. Already. How are we getting her out? Okay, so on the broader perspective, there are a lot of people who are in her situation also, but in a different context. Mm -hmm. There are people who are married, but mm -hmm. see their husbands as their father. They expect their husbands to treat them mm. just as their father treated them as children. They may not have her kind of fantasy or so. Yeah. They are people. They are men who are married, and they expect their wives to treat them like they are their mothers, mothers or sisters, and the like. These are realities. But we have to wean ourselves off. 
Mm. Children don't drink breast milk all their lives. All their lives. It well, gets to they, a time. They, they, the boys technically they can oh, uh, with I, I, I said children. Yeah. <laughs> children, oh. <laughs> so not your mother. You see, yeah. you have to graduate mm -hmm. to another uh, hand, mm -hmm. and that one it doesn't come with. The German word is fruity sky liquid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but something nice. Yes, uh -huh. something nice. Huh? <laughs> so people must learn to wean themselves mm. from the formative affections that we receive. So please, if you are married, your husband is not your father. Mm. If you are married, your wife is not your mother. Mm. Understand she's your wife. Understand he's your husband. That is why our sister should, like my brother said, wean herself from these fantasies. Your brother is your brother. And this will affect her relationship with the brother if she gets the brother gets married. Mm -hmm. yes. And in most cases, uh, uh, um, a mm -hmm. she becomes, yeah, you are not treating mm -hmm. my brother well. Mm -hmm. Because these fantasies have not been weaned off. Mm -hmm. And a lot of marriages that are suffering, mm -hmm. as a result, the sister feels, yeah, this is my, we have to treat him this way. This, yeah, my, we have to she do this. She has a mental picture of how of her, things her, her brother's wife should treat. Yeah. So please, our sister should, and from a pastoral perspective, mm -hmm. she should pray, it's, have spiritual dimension. Mm -hmm. So we pray, she goes for deliverance, and God will save her from that perspective. Kelly, do you think that should she get married now, it may be a solution? No, marriage is not a cure to your lusts. Mm. Marriage cannot cure lusts. Mm. Being in a relationship with a person would not cure your lust. Being single without anybody will not cure your lust mm -hmm. because you can stay without being any, with anybody and your mind is going places and mm -hmm. you're wishing mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. What makes you ready for marriage is, first of all, mental balance. Mm -hmm. Who am I? What's my purpose here? What am I living for? Mm -hmm. Who should I leave that purpose with? Where? Before you think about who to date and who deserves your body, mm. your body is the very last exploration of a man on you. The very last, after all T's have been crossed and all I's have been dotted, the very last thing left of you in this world that you can give to a man who you claim you love is your body. Not the first, not the second, not somewhere in the middle, the very last thing. And certainly it must be well deserving after he has passed the test of best synchronizing with the purpose for which you're living for, especially with the futuristic dimension in mind. After that, you can now think about giving to him your body well earned. We don't wait till our bodies are earned. And who says the body of a man is not pricey, by the way? Mm. Why do we always give the accolades to a woman's body? A man's body is gold, man. Yeah, Beyond so. gold. Yeah. Let us acknowledge that, yeah. that the body of a man yeah. is priceless. <laughs> so while See how we I'm adore... In all no, 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 I'm not talking about like an African man, I'm talking like a human being. Yeah. Much so that we appreciate the body of a woman, our sisters, our mothers, let us appreciate the fact that this is, is more than a masterpiece in, in, in human form. And we must regard that. So before you and anyone gets to have access to it, it must be well earned with purpose underscore. Offer, don't you think that at this point yes. it's unhealthy for this 24-year-old young lady to, to be living with her brother? Even if she's not getting married, don't you think that they should be separated so that the unthinkable does not happen? Ms. Nancy, I will start it this way, that the starting point of her healing mm -hmm. should be as to doing what I call redefinition mm -hmm. of herself. First of all, she ought to know and see the environment that she's coming from. Mm. Mommy, daddy was not there. A brother was there for me. But who is it? A brother. Not somebody you want to yearn for. Mm. Quickly do that re-examination of that. Yes. And then go to the next one, exposure. Mm. 
What is it that you've been exposed to? You need to re-examine how you see things, you touch things and all that. Because if I get closer to my brother, it's not my boyfriend. Mm. That feeling is totally different. Mm. And then finally, you should look at the expectation. What is her expectation? What is it that you're looking for? Come tomorrow. So for, 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 for her to come out of this, she ought to do a serious work to herself. First of all, just like our brother said, if you want to be matured, maturity goes into what is good for me and what is not good for me. Mm. Making the right choices, making the right decision is what you are supposed mm. to be looking for. So, but for now, let's empathize with her. We do. And then so she moved from her brother's house. She should move. Immediately. Quickly. With immediate effect. Quickly. By doing all this, your next move is a leave. Because the more you are there, the tendency wanted to get closer and the tendency wanted to do what you do will be great. Pastor Little. Yeah, Miss Nancy, thank you so much. I, I am coming from another perspective that generally all the ends, those who are watching us, parents should wean themselves from their children, children. who are married. Mm. Brothers, wean yourself from your sisters who are married. Mm. Understand and respect their scope that mm. they are married. Mm. And you, the sister, also respect yourself. This is my brother. It's in the mind. She can even move mm. and still the mind. Yeah. So she should reorient her mind. And scripture says, be it transformed by the renewal of your mind. Mm. Literally fix your mind. Mm. So if she fixes her mind, it will be good to leave the place of danger. Mm -hmm. But it starts from here. And those of us who are always on our relatives, irrespective of where they are, let us be mindful that we have to win ourselves. Let people be married. Let them enjoy their life. Mm. And stop imposing on them your thoughts and perspectives. Yes, my lady. Yeah, Miss Nancy, I think moving from the brother's house is the best option. Yeah. But as my brother said here, yeah, that who is going to take care of her when she moves out from the house? I don't think moving from the house prevents the brother from fulfilling his responsibility. So as the phrase goes, yes. Yes. God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> if she moves out and she wants to be helped, with determination, she can make it. You see, and the parents, let us encourage our children to be responsible early. Exactly. JHS on vacation, yeah. let them look for work. work let them start yeah. working and earn it. Even at home, yeah. let them sweep. Yeah. Yes. My mom, my children, they don't cook. What is that? Because they are only learning. Yes. And they brofo, need brofo, brofo, the brofo. balance. Ms. Nancy, yes, Councillor Dumata. If the lady says, I want to move, it's from the mind. Mm -hmm. And every other thing will come yes. per your decision Same. of moving. Yes. You don't need to have it before you say you want to move. Yeah. So you should put this in her in mind. Yes. Move, 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 you'll get there. Yeah. People, this has been a great conversation. And uh, now we know that you need to be careful what you think about, yeah. because whatever information you are consuming can have an effect on you. Let us mind our relationships, especially with our siblings and people that we are related to by blood, and put the necessary boundaries and limitations where they're supposed to be. This has been Confessions.